So in this video we're going to do a trigonometric substitution example in which x is going to equal the tangent of theta. So the integral that we're given is the integral of x times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. We have a sum of squares under a radical sign so there's definitely a uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, form underneath the uh, radical sign. So we could set up the triangle that goes with that. So I'll set up a right triangle. I'll label in my angle theta. And this is a sum of the squares. So we know that these need to be the legs of the triangle. So one squared it means one of the two legs is going to be labeled with a one. I usually do my side adjacent with the one and I do my side opposite with the variable. That's just my preference because it gives me the uh, substitution x equals tan theta which I like to work with. So the square root of 1 plus x squared has to be the length of the hypotenuse 1 plus x squared. Again remember we're using the idea that maybe I'll say this one more time just to emphasize we're using the idea that if we have a hypotenuse and two legs, then the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the legs. So anytime we have the sum of the squares like we do here, 1 squared plus x squared, we know that the two terms being squared are the leg lengths of the triangle, and we know that the hypotenuse is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the legs. So that's how I'm coming up with that labeling convention. Side length 1, side length x, hypotenuse, square root of 1 plus x squared. And the moment we have that, we get a quick, simple relationship. We can see that the angle theta that I drew in, and I think it's important to label the angle, the tangent of this angle theta is going to be opposite over adjacent, or x over 1, which is just x. So the tangent of theta is going to equal x. We are going to need to know what dx is. So the simplest possible relationship, we should take its uh, derivative with respect to x. So we are looking to find d theta dx. So the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared of theta. But the chain rule says theta on the inside is a function of x, so the chain rule says take his derivative, so times theta prime, which is just d theta dx. So again, this is the chain rule or implicit differentiation, and the derivative of x is 1. Multiplying both sides by dx, we get secant squared theta d theta equals dx. So now I know what x is. I know, I sorry, I know what dx is, I know what x is, x is the tangent of theta, so I just need to make a substitution for the square root, and what I can see is that if I do hypotenuse over adjacent, I will uh, get exactly what I need, so the secant, the secant of this angle theta is the hypotenuse 1 plus square root of 1 plus x squared over the adjacent, which is 1. So just using our trig definitions, which just simplifies to the square root of 1 plus x squared. So now we can go in and make some substitutions. We can say, hey, we have the antiderivative, we started with the antiderivative of x square root of 1 plus x squared dx, but the x can be replaced with the tangent of theta x can be replaced with tangent of theta. Square root of 1 plus x squared can be replaced with secant of theta. And dx can be replaced with secant squared theta d theta. And so now we've converted our rectangular system into a trigonometric system. And then what I want to know, notice here is that tangent times secant is the derivative of the secant. So at this point, the substitution u equals secant of theta would make sense because du d theta would equal secant theta tangent of theta. So a u substitution letting u equal the secant of theta would make a lot of sense here. So 
replace the secant theta squared with u squared right here using this u substitution and then multiplying both sides of this relationship by d theta we see that should have been d theta du <laughs> that's so that's bad this is du take the derivative with respect to theta this is du d theta and then you multiply both sides by d theta and you get du so du is the secant of theta tangent of theta d theta so it's secant theta tangent theta times d theta can be replaced with du i think i had it right and just looked at it wrong <laughs> it's time to go back to bed or have another cup of coffee this guy is easy to integrate so if we integrate u squared we get one third u cubed plus a constant of integration and then we have to convert back into uh, back into trigonometric world so we made a u substitution u equals the secant of theta so this is one third secant cubed of theta plus a constant of integration and from theta world we have to go all the way back to rectangular world so we've got to unwind this in two steps so the secant of theta is just equal to the square root of 1 plus x squared from right here so I can replace this with one-third and it is the it is the secant which is 1 plus x squared all being cubed plus a constant of integration and if I recognize that 1 plus x squared the square root is really the half power of that what I could do is rewrite it as a third of 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves power plus a constant of integration.